know the lights are on. I'll turn them back off in a second. But what I need to do right now, I need some light for. So my original Monarch right here has a lot of sentimental value to me. It has been on a ton of stages uh, played by me, but not just by me. It was recently on stage played by Jessica Dobson of Deep Sea Diver opening up for Pearl Jam. It just has a ton of sentimental value for me. Plus, they don't make this finish anymore. I decided it would be cooler to update my existing Monarch that has so much sentimental value to me. Now, we can already see some pretty significant differences here. If we look at the Monarch, the original Monarch, we got a volume and a tone control. Here, we have a volume, treble, bass control. Then here, we have a switch between American and vintage voicing. That is gone. We have a reverb control, reverb control, and then a wattage control here which does not exist on the original Monarch. On top of that, the original Monarch here has one of the old Transformers in it. And since that time, Benson has started working with Sour Sounds. And I have recently had another amp where they upgraded the Transformer to a Sour Sounds Transformer. And the difference was notable, seriously notable. So this one, in addition to that, has one of the Sour Sounds transformers in it so i'm super super stoked about that so i'm gonna get this in here and then we will continue on with the demo all right so this is what we're gonna do tonight we're not gonna relitigate the monarch because we've done that here it is one of the greatest sounding amps on the planet so we're gonna stay in the zone which is just usually a little bit off of noon on the eqs and we're gonna focus on the power scaling, because that is the exciting new thing with this Monarch Plus. The power scaling on the Monarch Plus is similar to that of the Vinny Reverb. Now, most amp builders will use a MOSFET circuit for power scaling. The Benson Monarch Plus utilizes a 6L6 set up like a voltage regulator to achieve power scaling, yielding more natural, more real sounding power supply response than the ubiquitous MOSFET. This results in a, I don't know, more viable sounding tone at lower wattages. And I'm gonna go so far as to say that if you're looking for saturation, you may find that the lower wattages actually sound better. And this is mostly due to the internal resistance of the 6L6, which emulates the resistance of a rectifier tube. So like I said, we're gonna stay mostly in the good sounding EQ areas, and we are going to attack this power scaling with both single and dual coil pickups. I have a Grez Guitars Mendocino here. We got the amp mic'd with a Cascade Fathead and a C414 XLS. It is far mic'd. If you have an issue with that, uh, take it up with Steve Albini because he's the one that I got it from. Now, I'm going to adjust some of the levels in the mix so that it's all pretty even. But just know, as I'm reducing the wattage, the amp is getting significantly quieter. We're going to start at the full 15 watts. <laughs> Thank you. 
go. That was just a brief look at the Monarch Plus from Benson Amps. You know, I was a little nervous about this one because I really, really love my original um, Monarch Reverb. And Chris asked me if I was going to switch it back. And the answer is no. This is way cooler. Way, way cooler. I just really dig it. So thanks, Chris, for sending this over for me to check out. Thank you for the privilege of your time. Mm -hmm.